What's up, everybody? Uh, good morning. <laughs> it's actually kind of funny because we went to downtown today, came home, promptly took a nap. So, yes, good morning. <laughs> oh, man. Can I help you? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Should work today. Oh, wait, no. Can I help you? Hmm? Look right there. Thank you. I actually want, I actually found a nice uh, yarn thread. And a pattern to make some fishnet ones, like actual like fishnet thing. <clears throat> it's gonna be next time I make some money. <laughs> you like this? Uh oh, here we go. Oh, hold on. Here we go. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. And then she just goes over there. <laughs> anyway. Seriously, this dog gets spoiled as much as we can. So. She's like, oh, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, those things are they're there, yeah. Let's see if for a little bit. Like, yum, 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 yum. So today, we went shopping, took the trusty old Hello Kitty bag, <laughs> and bought this. This is like the biggest skein of yarn I have seen since I have moved here. <clears throat> I'll make some pumpkins, some crochet pumpkins. It's a nice orange though. So I got a couple of ribbons. I finished up the snowman. You got an orange one too? What are you gonna make? Oh god. Haha. <laughs> nice. Mm. Before we get involved with this. So I could not do a honeycomb stitch on this one. Yarn was a little too thin. To my liking, not like the last one that I played with. Oh, God. So, so I'm just doing a. I don't know what you call this. Only this side, it always looks like this, and then the other side always looks like this. Although that's just how it is. So. Yeah. So, this is going to be another one that I put into the arsenal for Christmas, and then I think that's going to be the, all of the bright colored scarves. I need to make some more neutral ones. Scarves actually are a thing here. Kind of. Okay. Got some relics to crack and some liches to deal with. While well, the coffee wakes my ass up. Seriously, going so it takes us like an hour to get there and then an hour to get back. So that's like two hours round trip. So we left. <laughs> I feel you on that so much. <laughs> so this past weekend I actually did pretty good in selling. All of that money is gone now. <laughs> so between four skeins of yarn. I think I got a snack and then we got some resin molds. Aw, thank you. I like my crafts too. It keeps my fucking brain shut up. <laughs> keeps our brain quiet. There we go, sorry. Cause if you I don't know if you've ever heard of the phrase of idle idle hands. Yeah. Hmm. 
But no, I get you. There's a lot of things I'm just like, you know what? If I had the money, I would totally do that. And then it's like, I don't have that money. So. Anyway. Oh, God. Come on. And then, like an idiot, I totally forgot to put sunblock on. Thank God it wasn't too bad of a burn, though. That's some pink. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. No, I get you. I get you. Like, that's generally how we would usually be. But seriously, last week? Last week was nice for me. Like, I actually made some nice profits. So, it's just, it's just going to hopefully continue going that way because of the time of year that we're in. So, like, for here in Mexico, September, like, they've already started setting up for it but september is our independence day month and they go hard they go hard here and then in october obviously halloween but the more popular one obviously is dia de muertos and then we've got christmas and then we've got uh three kings day which is in january and then valentine's day in february so it's like this is the beginning of the end of the year for us <clears throat> it would be nice. It would be nice. Or not exactly like that, but I don't know. Like growing up, my dad had this, I'm pretty sure it was my dad, my grandpa definitely, but my dad had always told me that, uh, here, let's start off with, my grandpa was World War II era like he was actually he was going to fight in there and then he got sick so he couldn't actually like, make the run but um he was one of those hard-working people so like he was one of those that you go out you work you you earn your hard-earned cash right so that kind of goes into like my mindset because then my dad kind of also put into the thing for me was when you go, this is when I was looking for what to do, you know, college-wise, you know, what, what do I want to be when I grow up? And he was always telling me that do something you're going to enjoy. Because nothing is more miserable to get a degree and then that you don't like and then go and do that job for the rest of your life and you're going to hate it. Don't do that. That's why I'm actually, I like crafting. I also like baking. I don't like to eat the crap that I bake, but... <laughs> I'm a weird person. I know. It doesn't fucking get... It doesn't make sense to me either. It doesn't make sense to anybody. The only thing I actually kind of like is my Rice Krispies. <laughs> so I'm probably going to burn out on those anyway. But no, I like to bake. Uh, so, you know, I enjoy doing that. I want to share what I enjoy with others. I like crafting. Share, like, enjoy to share what I'm... Yeah. <clears throat> oh, nice. That Wait. <laughs> Yeah, no, my grandpa was, um, he was gonna, <sighs> shit, Vic knows more of it because I can't remember. He was in the, bomb the Bombardiers? Big ass plane where they drop bombs. That's what he trained to do, so. <clears throat> then my dad was in Vietnam, so, well, he got, he got stationed in Okinawa. He didn't make it to that next part, thank God. Probably would have died. Vietnam was nuts. I never really knew much about it until like in the past couple years when you know I was like we watched a couple of things. I'm like, holy shit, that was really nasty. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> so yeah, world wars are crazy. Wars are crazy. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, damn. Okay. <clears throat> Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, I'm kind of glad that he was not, that he, that he did, you know, follow through on that. He did not continue or else he would not be here. Possibly. Maybe. I don't know.
Because then, then you have to find something to kamikaze on, correct? Oh, okay. Well then... <sighs> also true. Also true. Oh shit, I picked it up. Damn it. Didn't <laughs> Alright, so we are still working on these. Did I form the... I did. Okay. Oh. Okay. Still working on stuff. So we're going to be leveling. Oh look, I put a plant in my orbiter. Look at that. It hasn't died yet, so that's good. Let's go start off with some relic cracking first. Um, I don't know how this will ever go. Seba, there we go. Still only have this one. Well, looks like there's one for every single tier, so honestly, we can just go with that. Start off with the rescue. <clears throat> it's actually kind of funny, yeah. I have no idea if my dad's grandpa, uh, if my dad's dad, I never met him. I don't know if he was in the military or not. I don't know. You are approaching the portal area. Careful. If the wardens detect you, they will surely initiate an execution sequence. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, that's one way to think about it, I guess. Um. Alright, I got my ten. You have collected enough reactants to open your relic. Give me a second and I will show you. So it's two, right? So this is like the normal cords that I usually have. And then there's this one. Can't really see it, but... It's got like a nice little design on the back. Okay. And this one's got a little bit better view, hold on. It's actually kind of hefty. Oh, that was something else that we got. <clears throat> so 
plug in. <laughs> um, so we have some old resin that we have, right? And we found a, a new store, well, new to us. And I've, I've always been looking for things to do with resin, and they have to be thin. I can't do a D and D dice with it because of a shit ton of bubbles. So we have to do thin projects with this one. So I could not resist this one. It's like this was like at a a it's like a mold store. That sounds weird, but when you see it, you're gonna understand. Um, it's got like things for soaps, candy, cookies, candles, things that you use molds with. I couldn't say no to this one. Look at that. Little dog pens. And like, yeah. And it's pretty shallow. It's also where the money went. <laughs> and then this one. This one I'm really excited to do. So. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> so. Um, no, this is not for you. So, obviously, I like video games. I have a huge collection of the systems out in the living room, and I brought those all with me. I saw this, and I could not say no. Here, hold on. Let me turn this. I couldn't say no, for obvious reasons. It's got one of all of the originals, so you got the original Nintendo. PlayStation, Xbox, and, and, fucking Sega Genesis. I was like, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. I was like, I need this. I need this. So, yeah. We'll be making a couple of those things. Back in the bag so that you don't get super dirty and then stick it with the rest of them. Right? Like, I've seen ones of, like, the PlayStation and the Xbox because, yeah. But having the, the original ones, right? First of all, that's awesome. And second of all, the Sega, the Sega consoles have just been totally forgotten about. Hands fucking down. Which sucks. Because, um... In my opinion, at the time... Sega consoles were just a little bit ahead of their time. I mean, I don't know, like, I actually have a couple of the old Nintendo Powers, and... Not Nintendo Power. I mean, I have some of those too, but, um, the game... It wasn't Game Informer, it was something else. Something that had video games as a magazine. Crap. Not Game Informer. Because Game Informer was GameStop. Something, it was something like that. And there was a lot of like advertising for the, the the Genesis back in the day, and the Genesis was actually ahead of Nintendo. Um, we're damn near the whole entire fucking time. Like we had the the Genesis, the Sega Saturn, and then there was the the last one that they had, which was the um, I mean there, I know there's a couple of other ones in there too, like the little handhelds, but main console systems, um, Dreamcast. <clears throat> yeah, they didn't have one. They didn't have one for the Atari. Oh god, I actually have one of those. <laughs> I have an Atari. I also have the original Pong. And Pong 4. I didn't even know they had a Pong 4, but hey, there's a Pong 4. So... <clears throat> but yeah, no, I saw these and I'm like, oh god, I need to bust out the resin and I need to go make some decorative things because... These are super cute. And they're tiny. They're, um... I don't have... I don't even tape in here. I have no idea. That's a good question. That is a good question. Fuck, of course you take argon crystals. Why wouldn't you take argon crystals? All right, well, we got the systems. I mean, I know that I've heard people calling it the joystick. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I 
keep going until the, the rescue is no longer there. But yeah. That Dreamcast was definitely ahead of its time. I am glad to see that some of the, uh, the game titles continued on, though, like Fantasy Star Online. Because, let me tell you, that shit on the Dreamcast was fucking awesome. Um, doing some relic cracking. I did manage to get a Sevagoth part, so that's good. Because I need to work on that one. It was. It was so good. I didn't have it in its prime. I had a friend who had it, and I got to play a lot of games on it. But, um, yeah, no. That thing was, that thing was ahead of its time. Hands fucking down. Yeah. There was a lot of, there was a lot of fuck-ups that they did. One of them, including of where they sold it at. One of many, but... No, I actually ended up getting my Sega Dreamcast, um... From Goodwill. And it works! It works, it's, it's beautifully. Fun fact! Fun fact! If you actually have your Dreamcast still. Depending on, I don't remember what the website is. I have it saved somewhere like eons ago. But um... You can actually get the game and you can stick it on a disc. Like, you can legit burn it to a CD. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest, some of the games that I could not find at first <laughs> did that. I'm not saying that that's like a foolproof way because some of those things some of the things they they were a little wonky, so I don't remember which one. I know that there was Capcom versus SNK. That was a fun one. That thing also was kind of broken most of the time, so. But when it worked, it worked. Coffee flavored water! See delicious. For oh, sure, I've got a Kavat incubator upgrade segment. I haven't seen one of those in a while. Breakfast is good, yes. Yes, yes. Oh, there's a rescue for me, so... Okay, let's go.
some point in time, I was thinking, since I have two Furbies that don't have their their skins anymore. Well, one of them, I still have a skin. Let me actually move it over there. No, you didn't. But tell me, and I will continue my Furby story. So I've actually thought about, I have a 3D printer, and I have found some things to print Furbies. And then I was thinking, well, you can't really have those without the skin. I'm like, I could totally crochet a Furby jacket. Oh, wall of text, hold on. No longer what? You're actually the second person who's told me that they are no longer employed. Clubbing is a, is kind of scary. Not gonna lie. Make sure you have your wingman with you. Or not even not even that. Like just somebody that you trust so that you're not there alone. Oh. <laughs> No, I actually used to go clubbing when I went to college on occasion. And no, there was always two other people I went with. They were pretty cool, but nah, man, we watched out for each other. At least, you know, fuck that shit. That's good. That's good. It's not super scary then. Oh, nice. That's even better. Yeah, that's even better. So you just sit on sit on the wall and be like, just I'm a I like to people watch when I go out like that. So Give me a second. Oh, yeah, no, that'd be kind of scary.
Well, yeah, for now you do. Foremost. Mission complete. A captive has been liberated. You will be rewarded for this time. Also, when we went to downtown, um, Vic needed some components for a project he's working with his job. Kind of jealous, not gonna lie, he got some arcade buttons. Now I want arcade buttons. I want to make an, ar an arcade thing. He has buttons. <laughs> it looks so cool. I mean, I would love to have like, like the arcade cabinet and everything, but where the fuck would it go? I don't know. But the buttons. Yeah, no. Just manifest. Yeah, no, I get you. I get you. Um, I mean, not knowing what could happen. It's yeah, no, that's just terrifying. No, I've actually, so I use Pinterest for a lot of, like, ideas and stuff. And I've actually saved a couple of them that t that gives you ideas and, like, patterns for, um, okay, machines. Yeah. You are approaching the polling area. Yeah. Careful. If the it's a good place for that too. They will surely initiate execution sequence. That's it. You opened the relic. Finish your mission and we'll take a look inside.
I know that Pinterest has shown me the different types of um, stitching that you can do with looms, like the scarf looms that I've been that I have. Dude, if you didn't have to fucking worry about like having to sustain yourself. Speaking of food, so there's a place that's in downtown that we were going to try. It's called Pirate Burgers. Holy crap, they are expensive. Just be a plant. Like, damn, they were expensive. I mean, they looked good, but I couldn't justify the, the price on that. And I couldn't either because, like, what the shit. Continue doing a little bit more of these, and then we'll switch over and we'll get another lich. I'm thinking that I, I already got my good luck with the Sevagoth part that dropped, so. But you can always need, you can always use more hormones, so. Right, Kida? Dog is like, leave me alone, human. I am napping. Holy shit. Find our prisoner in one of these cells. Fate has starred not a minute too soon. Subject found. You need to bring the captive to safety. Protect them at all costs. Don't suppose you have an extra gun? Yeah. 
super speedy. <laughs> A lot of formas. Marcos, I got the ribbons. Oh. I'm going to need more lead from my pencil. It's okay, it's enough. Yeah. I think this takes 0.7. It's not 0.5, I think it's 0.7. I've had this thing forever. This is like from high school. <laughs> it's like a pencil. Oh, let's see here. Let's not do that. Oh, there's a rescue for Neo. Let's go. I actually watched the Matrix last night. It's been it's been a while, but I've I've watched the shit out of that movie, so. It's always good. It's good background noise because you can listen to it and you know the scenes, what's going on, what they're going to say. Like pencil lead? I mean, I'm not eating it. Stick it in the pencil. It's graphite. Oh, Jesus, I see what you're saying. Jesus Christ, it's graphite. No, it is not. You found the fissure. Look out for reactors. Corrupted probes are dropping reactors. Yes. Keep fighting. Look for more reactors. Stay focused. There's a heavy unit approaching. They can't leave without rescuing the prisoner. Keep searching. No, just I've always heard it just termed as lead. So heavy robotic signature detected. Lock and load. Get out of here. I don't remember how to get out of here. Okay, you can't hear. Oh, there's an underground. Oh, shit. Oh, 
does work. Radioactive erasers, yeah. Mission complete. The captive has been liberated. Reporting for this scan. No, at least the sweeper prime got maxed out. Actually, I don't know. I do know that. My, when my sister was going through art school, um, one of the ones that she did, she did with, um, she had, like, colored pencils and other stuff, or what class, or whatever the fuck that was. But, um, I know that they do make full graphite pencils, and it's not like, you know, you see, like, your number, like, your normal... Well, we call them number two pencils, but it's like the wood with the graphite in, in the middle, like the little graphite rod. No, this entire fucking thing is graphite, and it's got like a really thick coating of paints on the outside so you don't get it all over your hands. That stuff is fun. I look for something. I don't remember what it was. This room is starting to get out of control. This is weird. Okay, is it crystal? Okay, I can see that. It's like an item unburying things. It's too hot in here. It's got a combination of heightened ordinary levels and a terrible memory. You're welcome! These are all the little graphite replacements that I've got. I have squirreled away and collected over the years. Drumsticks. Just need to beat somebody with them. Why I have these? I don't know. Like, I mean, I know why I have these in particular, but why they're in here? I don't know. Little sycophants. Sycophant things back. There. It's like in here. Nuclear graphite? Well, oh. I organized this a while ago, but special little pens. Hold on, hold on. These are really cool. I've never seen these before anywhere. You find something to. Freshly, you know, so it's gotta get like the ink on it and stuff, but go. It like does like a little, like a little doodle. So it does stars, there's hearts, there's lines, clouds, another line, and then squiggles. Yeah, no, I have never seen these before until I saw them one time. And I was like, that's fucking cool. <clears throat> yeah, 
Yeah, no, it's, they're really cute. I have no idea what I'm using them for because I haven't used them for anything. It was just like I saw them, I'm like, I need those. <laughs> I need those in my life. See, I remember having like markers, but it wasn't like a rolling thing. It was more like a stamp, right? So yeah, no, when I saw these, I'm just like, God damn. No, they're mine. Can't get them. If you want them, you have to come and get them. But yeah, no, I saw those. I'm just like, hmm. Hope to God you don't actually come into this house then, because there's a lot of death traps at this house. The fuzzy minion is one of them. She does not like new people. I know, I need to clean this up. I've got so many different things over here that I need to put together. Not put together, but put away, I should say. <laughs> but it's also hard to justify putting things away when I'm not even finished making things with them, so that's the other problem. <laughs> Knew it was gonna hit. Knew it. Person still looking for him.
God damn, I thought that was thought that was a thing. Ultra Prime. Stay focused. She will take that one. Oh, in case you didn't see it in Discord, during our outing, so we have an actual Coca Cola store in downtown Mexico City, right? It's like a- it's a small little- little thing, um, but that's all they sell. That's all they sell is Coca-Cola products. <laughs> and they have different flavors of, you know, of the- of the drinks, of the things that they manufacture, and Fanta is obviously one of them. And today, I really wanted a Cherry Coke, because it's been so long since I have had a Cherry Coke. Today, when we went there to go get that, I saw that they had a promotion of flavors of Fanta for Beetlejuice number two when it comes out on September 6th. And I had to try one. The one that I got was the one that has Beetlejuice on it and is a limited edition um, flavor. It's, it's called Haunted Apple. It's a spiced apple of some type. I don't know what. I, it's got clove in it, I think. It was really good. And then when you open it up and you drink it, that shit is bright neon green. I was like, holy shit. It was really good, though. So, import fees on that was a little expensive, but it was still good. Highly recommend. So, if you see those in stores, and if you can actually have that in... In your, you know, day-to-day -day life. I highly recommend you give it a try. It wasn't bad. So. It actually kept the can, so that was like the first thing that we went, right? So I drank it, and then I just carried the can around with me because I really wanted to keep it. <laughs> because I don't think I'm ever going to see that again. And it's black and white striped, which makes it even better. And it's really weird because I don't really keep stuff like that, but that one was like, I need to keep this one. It's so cool. It's so fucking cool to see. I'll end up tossing it in like a couple of weeks, but who knows? I'm detecting bright fissures nearby. Do you have a matching relic? For now, I can keep it as a memory. You found a fissure. Look out for reactants. You're still in the clear. No detection of enemy sensors. The enemies are dropping reactants. Stay focused. There's a heavy unit approaching. Two dollars for a can of coke? That was a little bit expensive. What? Two dollars for a can of coke. Yeah, no, you gotta love those import fees. Fuck ridiculous. 
It's still pretty good though. Because I was running out of time, so I just left it there. Let's go do a lich. <sighs> Friends only. Saturn Cassini because it's the easiest one. Skimping out on giving me energy drops here, huh? What you got? Oh! I do not have a max at one of those! Fucking, okay, got a new core. Hopefully, I can max that one out. It'd be nice. 
my third one. There goes Kita. Ukstag. <laughs> Name. You can't kill me if you keep hitting me in the bits I've had replaced. This one. Book stag. Ah. <laughs> uh. All right, but I got that though. Well, Kido. I know, we need to get you some doggy food after this. You're not starving, girl, trust me. What, are you sad that we were gone for a couple of hours? Yeah. You've already had a treat. Oh my god. You have a turtle. That's all you get. <laughs> all right. Let's go work on Book Stag. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to go to this one. Fuck. There is a large platoon of Grenier Marine Extension here. Leave no one standing. Holy shit, that Revenant Prime. It's impressive reach. Another successful mission. Find extraction. Oh. Yeah, I didn't mean to do that one. Oh well. Oh, probably a good thing too. I need to go check the um the combo thing, the the parazon. Three. I doubt any of those are going to work, but. Wait, did I level something? Do you have any idea what it takes to get severed limbs? You will. Alright, she's definitely going to need the thing.
I definitely put a number on that one. <clears throat> Still don't have one of those? Which ones have I been building? Bro. <laughs> um... that one on. Not right now, but let's see what we got for strength. I mean, we could do that. I have intensified. Out of drift. Oh, well that would go up there, but I don't have it. Hmm, can't really go wrong with having a little bit extra armor. Let's take that down, put that in there, and then we can come back to that. Should be the last one for this? Yeah. Paracesis should... Oh wow, we still got a ways to go. Okay. Um, let's do... Let's do some criticals here. Do crit champs. Sacrificial steel, so that would be true steel. That one on there. This is two. Oh, okay. I was like, why is that one not giving it to me? No. Red Haze is not on that location. I really need to just make it so that I've got my map automatically loaded. A dip gag gagerball? I am not Gagerbod. Suddenly I am What the fuck name is that? I grow up, I get 
The name Adip Gagerbod. That's a name. Some of the names of these things, man. So, since Warframes are like Warframe nights are kind of like just like kind of a casual thing, let's let's chat about something. So, I'm not going to be streaming Fallout 76 on Fridays anymore. Um, I'm just that game isn't something that's entertaining for a stream, honestly, unless there's other people playing it with me. So, I'm going to be rotating that out. It was a good try. I still don't know what the hell I'm going to put there. I might end up just going back to Guild Wars 2 for that in the meantime. The only other option that I have kind of kicked back and forth would be like a crafting stream. But, with that said, one of the goals I wanted to do this year, which I have yet to actually get, is, um, I wanted to, yeah, definitely have, like, a crafting thing involved with it. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's the thing. So, I was thinking more of making that something that was, like, a Discord-only thing, where just, we just chat. And just, nothing really fun going on in that aspect. Just chat. I don't know. It's It's been something that I have kicked around. Like, just an idea. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Stay focused. There's a heavy wind approaching. I did not mean to push that. Also, crafting can be, it's a very niche thing. That's why I'm just like, I don't know. Uh, I probably end up just defaulting back to Gilbert's too.
Nice. Nice. That gun is maxed. Oh, thank God. All right. Your primer got maxed out, too. Right. So it needs to be leveled while we're doing this. There are I've got I've got the formas now. I've got the formas. Operator, you have remembered well how to handle armlands now. Uh oh. we wanted to keep it anyway, so let's stick in that one. This one does. It's in the trait. It's a spear gun, okay. Ooh. Wait, he's the blast. This one doesn't do this though. Operator, or just wonders, what are you thinking about? Damn, what is thinking of this? A potato that can help <laughs> Jesus damn it Jez all right consideration 65 I don't want to do sprint speed because if I'm honest I'm not really worried about it. How to get off the nice chamber? Um, do we have in here? Oh, wow, okay. Radiation and viral. Ooh, I do not want to screw that up. to do two of these. Okay. Um Okay, okay. <clears throat> so leave that one there. What about cold damage? Okay. I mean, that's a little much. 
But let's see what that does. I'm honestly not really holding my breath out for this, but... Most of that I know what can keep gun that is, I just cut off so quickly. Merciless. It's the Ferox. I don't even know what this one is. I think it's like the the guns from Stargate. It's like a, you have it's like it looks like a staff, but like it shoots things. I don't know. I don't remember. This is at level 36, so we can penalize you. Oh, because we just okay. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. All right, so we've got three things that we are ranking up. Ah, carrier, how are we doing here? Nope. We still need to dump another format into you. <clears throat> What about your gun? Oh, yes. Ouch. Okay. Those are shots. Fire rates, good chance. Let's take that off. Oh, shit, let's put that back on for now. Nope, 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 nope. Crap, what was it? <laughs> let's do Ravage. It's the crit damage, and then we can put. I don't know, we'll figure it out. <laughs> Shells, polarize. Should put it here. So I know that Blunderbuss is going to be used. That's a lot of stuff that we are leveling, and that is a okay. I'll take that. Thank you. Somebody plant a flag. To rescue.
down. Where am I going? I don't know. So ridiculous. All right, so I'm not going to go, okay? This guy might be popping up soon then. That's in the first slot, so we'll find out. Normal defense, sabotage, it's a reception though, thank you. Do defense.
let's move. Mm. No could possibly put a duration on here. I'm not quite sure. Like I feel like it's a good length of time. Because of how fast objectives change, but at the same time... Going crazy, just going crazy here. Awesome. It's been a while since I've done that. So Sweeper Prime is back to being maxed. Shortlands, Is leveled up already? Jesus. I got three more formas to dump into this thing. I'm not really 
So they want more papau. Let's look this up. Let's see if anybody's got some good builds for this. I'm looking for some ideas here. Jesus. Alright, how does this one fare? Whoa. Okay. I don't have frostbite though. Alright, where do I get primary frostbite? Hold on. Primary frostbite. Where do you get this? Okay. Let's go to Yanta. We'll go buy one. Let's take care of this real quick. This one actually looks pretty fucking nice. But it's got a lot of the ones I have in here. Fast travel. Oh, Whatever damage time has done, we can undo it. Okay, I had enough of one. So that's good. Yeah. Hey, equipment arsenal. Okay, let's try this. Primary not the greatest, but we'll get that one. Um, right, so we've got galvanized chamber, prime shred, and cryo rounds, galvanized aptitude.
galvanized scope. I do. Right, chamber, scope, vital cells. Critical delay. Nice aptitude, vial acceleration. My current chance is one hundred and two percent. Holy fuck. All right, the vigilant supplies. So that's what they have for this. <sighs> okay. So actions polarize. Up there, and then we'll just go level this and then see what happens. So weird. Am I done with this yet? I don't think so. I need mean, like 700 and something, right? Yeah. Ah, it's not going to be. Let's see how this feels. It's gonna be weird because I just formatted so. <laughs> I wonder what I also had for breakfast. Honestly, I want to know what, us what people usually have for breakfast. I like to see things out there. What tickles your fancy? Oh lord. Alright, have fun, Kitty. I need access to a terminal. Find one and patch me in. I have heard that that thing has diverted so far from Tolkien's universe. Like, it's. It's. It's not even. It's bad. That's what I have heard. It's a, it's a big no bueno, man. So he's the wrong one. Your way. It's the premiere. Oh, 
Yeah, no. There's, um... It's bad when... What was it? It was a, a Tolkien scholar was removed because he was like, that's not how this works. And then Amazon was just like, well, you know what? You can go away, basically. And it was like, what the fuck? A Tolkien scholar. That's bad. That's real bad. Yeah. I don't know where... It was on YouTube. It was a guy that was talking about it and he was just like, this is so far from the books. And then that's when he had mentioned that a Tolkien scholar basically got removed from the thing because he had a disagreement with Amazon uh, writers. Now I'm going to go look that up and see if it's actually true. I, mean, I don't doubt it, but... Yeah, no, but like the whole entire thing. Tom Shippey interview about Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power that got him fired. And posting for anyone who wants to know about the Tolkien Scott and said about the show in 2019. Yeah, no, it's. I can post this. Uh, copy. The odds were against us, Tenno, but we. Stream convos. Mm. I'm remembering that now, yeah. Like, they left... They left the Twitch community from... Like, my Twitch community, they left Discord. They... They refused to have anything to do with me because of that whole entire thing. I think it was actually between Hell and Triggs. It was the conversation that you two were having in Discord... And then that person got upset and left. And I was like, okay. <clears throat> no, I remember this. I remember this, yeah.
Yeah, no, I remember that. I remember that because he got he had mentioned something. And then you guys were just like, no, it's it diverts so much from the thing. Like it's it's not even worth having it tied with the name. And he got like really upset and just left. Yeah. Yeah, but when 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 a fucking scholar is nah, nah bro, that's bad. <laughs> that's real bad. That's real bad. Oh well. So because of that, not it. also, I've seen like some footage from it. Like what the fuck? Like even like the the costuming department. Like what the fuck? Yeah, I've heard that too. We've got the second one done. Nerura Jod. Okay. Oh my god, what is wrong with my Protea's arm? Holy shit. Doesn't look right. I look broken. I'm gonna change that stance, that's actually bothering me now. Now that I know it's there.
<laughs> also, hi, Hill. It was fun in downtown today. We need to go back, like all of us together, and go explore. It'll be fun. Yeah. We found the, the one and only Coca-Cola store. It was nice. There was... I didn't take a lot of pictures today because it was really busy. But, um... <laughs> and we were kind of in a hurry. But there's a building... Oh god, it's one of the older ones. That... When we're coming out, and then you like you look up, and now buildings... I know that you know the city is sinking. It's been sinking, right? There's the building that you look at it and you see the one that's next to it. It's straight up and down and then you're like, wow, that's like a good solid like angle. I was like, holy shit. I seriously thought my vertigo kicked in really hard when I saw that. And I was like, holy fuck. I know, right? Property is maxed again. Okay, good, 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 good. Carrier is done as well. Seriously, though, there's. Oh God, the architecture downtown is so pretty. It is so fucking pretty. in four days so we still got some. Alright, well Netra is not there so Reese is probably in first. Oh yeah, well, that was fun. It was, it got hot. I mean, we left here at like, it was a little bit before 10. Cause I think we arrived there at like 10 36 or something like that. So maybe not before 10, but yeah, well it was before 10. It takes like an hour to get there. So like 9 36, 9 40, something like that. <clears throat> Oh, that's one of the other hit, yeah. Oh, God, I could pop out of two more times. Actions, polarize, we can do these, we put it here. Okay. Should give us some stuff. Depends on Italian. Oh. Do you remember the old war, Operator? Order seems to have misplaced in time. Mm. Let's just put in that last slot for Frontea.
I mean, you can always. Oh, do I have any augments over? Them? Oh, I need to replace that thing. Okay. Oh, that one sounds like fun. Let's put that one in there. I mean, I know it's supposed to go up there, but you know, let's just see how it works. Wow, that's really. Let's go remove that rewind because I don't like the rewind on here. I don't use it for like anything. Um, I think I do know what I am going to use with her. I mean, I was thinking about that one, but honestly, we probably could. I would just make one hell of a nasty count. Let's fuck it. Let's go. It's fucking good. What's the worst that happens? I don't like it. No. Let's fucking change it out. Diodes. Rods. Ribido. Let's take a look. I am so proud of myself. I have actually been keeping up with the Warframe app for farming these things. <coughs> Wait, my plastids, my plastids has gone back out. I'm so happy. Um, we'll do this. It's in Duberry, so ah oh shit, we gotta do one more. Chaotic. And of course, I don't even know what the hell that's used for anymore. Fuck it, let's do it. Let's fuck it down. Why the fuck not? That sounds like fun. Let's go fuck with shit. You have to feed it or else it won't give you shit. <laughs> you gotta feed Kissy Wizzy Gums. Oh. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, we're going to Mars. Get your ass to Mars. Exterminate, let's start it off. I'm out of coffee. I'm out of other liquid beverage. I am going to die. Yeah, let's put the box cover away. We don't need it anymore. It's actually kind of fun with the pillar. I mean, we're wiping things out super quick, so. Ah. Uh... 
Yeah, no, the radiation stick is a little bit ridiculous. I love it. That's fun. I'm not going to keep it though. I might put that on for like a keep it on a different build. I think I want to put um. Daggett's ability on. That was fun though. That one was fun. That one was fun. Oh, wait, wait, no, we can do it here. Yeah, yeah, And then I can just switch, swap one A and B. Alright, so... Oh, it's fun. Oh, it's actually... Um... I mean, we could do Fire Blast or Fire Walker and just, you know, put that on additional since we're already doing fire damage, but I know a lot of people put bloom on her. That one might be fun. But we already have the dispensary, so that's not going to really help because the dispensary gives us both of these things as it is. Use an attack or our attack suffer viral damage up to one stack. Energy sources provide more energy. That you find the people. That one might be nice. Do not revive allies though. Oh, yeah, because it's not. Okay. But it dissolves their armor. I don't think like Portea's abilities do. Mm, should have number. Sickening Pulse, that actually might be nice. Emit a pulse that adds stacks to status effects that are already afflicting enemies, except for slash, heat, and toxin effects, which are duplicated with fresh timers. That one might be nice. I have that on somebody. I don't remember who I have that on. A couple of good ideas. Hmm. 
This is what I have on um, Wisp. Put that one on. I mean, I was thinking about putting it on in the first place, so... Millstones. Gang lands. Gang lands. Mostly because I think it would complement. It would complement the other stuff that's going on. That's what I mean by. Like. Because we're already doing slash and we're doing heat, so if we add viral in there, because I don't think these enemies are going to last in order to refresh those status box. I mean. Maybe if I was gonna like go really hard on Steel Path, but I still don't really have an issue with a lot of that time, so. I mean, when I'm doing Steel Path with Squirrel that one time, um, once, a, once a month, it's, it's, I mean, I'm learning, I'm balancing my build and stuff. So. Alright, let's take this off because broken arm. Fuck, I was going on. <laughs> Alright, um... Upgrade, let's swap the two. Stick it on A. The red. Okay, so we can do that one and then. Okay, fine, fine. Okay. Alright, let's see how this works. That's the fun part about trying these out, is just trying to figure out what feels good, what, what's fun. Suits you. Uh, uh, carrier is good. I think I need to. I just still need to put a sweeper. Wow. Sweeper. I mean, not sweeper. Carrier. Do you have? I don't actually add anything in. It's a shotgun that he's got, so... Sure, why not pick up eight syndicate battalions? Okay. That might be. Actually, I'm gonna get lazy. Clever 
Oh. I did okay. Let me go get more of these in and on. Strutty. Okay. What other ones do I have in here that I should probably deal with? I honestly need to go through some of this stuff. <laughs> Two rab V's, two rattle guts, two spore lacers. Okay, okay, well, let's go visit session. Let's go do that real quick. Your little licks is coming up in the world, Tenno. Yeah, I need to go, I need to go purchase, or not purchase, I need to go get more, um, steel essence, which is fine. I mean, maybe next week we can see how far I can go on a steel path thing. That'd be fun. So I think we got what, Vampire of the Masquerade this weekend, right, Hell? If you're still here, lurking. We got Vampire this weekend? Saturday? It's making like 110% sure that, yes, we are doing it, yeah. So I have to like get ready for all of that, so <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna be fucking prepared. Thank god it's like session zero, so stay focused. There's a heavy unit approaching. Since Vic is leaving tomorrow night during the stream. Um what I'll probably end up doing is I'll probably get some of the, the baking done tomorrow. Well, like making the bread and the croutons. Less, less stuff to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I don't want to be like one of those people. I just want to like show up with like a better idea of what I'm looking for. So it's like, you know. No, 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 no bacon streams. <laughs> no bacon streams. Uh, what we sell on the weekends or on Sunday is apple pie empanadas. Um, we are actually going to, I know, right? <laughs> um, we're actually going to start doing 
picadillo empanadas with the same dough that we use for the apple pie. It was so good. So good. The dough recipe that my mom has that I that I use is pretty flaky, like in a good way. Um, but yeah, so we have the apple pie empanadas, we got the Rice Krispie Treats, which are actually pretty popular. I do have an order for um, an Italian seasoned bread, and then we got croutons. We also have a shit ton of tomatoes because they were on sale this week. <clears throat> and I'm actually wanting to... I actually want to kind of do a tomato bacon bread and see how well that tastes. I have a recipe for it and it sounds really good. Apparently it's really good for like, like BLT stuff. You must deliver payloads and defend a number of locations while I break into the network. Be prepared for heavy resistance. I can't do this without you. The grenades are here in the right nick of time. That will make it violent. Difficult. Get to a terminal and prepare for enemy resistance. The wrong place to drop them, these. If you guys remember a long, long time ago, I actually did that in Discord. Baking streams. It was on the weekends. It was just to chat with people. I was like always rolling out the dough and stuff. Oh, I don't have to be just killing everybody. This is a mobile defense. Holy shit. I almost died back there. Also, that would mean that the baking stream would be on Saturday. I don't stream Saturdays. I don't want to stream. Oh, that was a long time ago, yeah. It's 
It's like last year, wasn't it? Yeah, I don't think I actually ever want to do that again. <laughs> that was a bit nerve wracking. Like to you guys, it's fine, but to like a lot more like general public, yeah. Still working on it. Continue to defend. Stay focused. There are heavy units approaching. Oh. Shit. The odds were against us, Tenno, but we did it. Mission complete. No, you get for only being level fifteen. Confidence, confidence got me. Over halfway on figuring this one out, so that's good. Oh. I don't think I showed you guys this. Like, not the complete one. So I've learned how to do um amigurus. And I showed you guys this last week, right? I still have to like put the details on it, but he has a hat now. He has a hat. It's a skeleton bride and groom. Oh my god. Hat looks a little weird, but that is a-okay by me. It's supposed to be like a little top hat, but look at that. And it's like on there, on there. So, let's see too. <clears throat> so we don't want stuff like that, kid. Oh, my butt hurts. Our intel 
suggests that our person of interest is in the vicinity. Search for the hostage and bring them home. Oh, looks like I am doing these all by myself. the holding area. Careful, if the wardens detect you, they will surely initiate the execution sequence. Wallet's feeling a little light, friend. My watch does not want to come out. Watch I say that and now he's going to be like constantly annoying the shit out of me. Bring them in. 
get some thunder. Not mine. Every touch, every lash, every word. Oh, no, you don't. Get back here. Death is my lover, isn't it? She has held me closer. I don't know if this is theirs or not. Something back there? Yeah. There's some serious thunder going on. So long, little mate. You fought with honor. They didn't have to ping it, so. Versus, this is almost to that finishing point. I want to step away real quick, like a minute at most, or maybe two minutes. I need to go get a drink real quick. So. Alright, so, yep, be right back.
Darkness keeps its hiding shape. It is, therefore, reluctant to allow anything to be born. In the Abyss's experience, animals do not think so much as we know. coffee sorry i went to go get the coffee and then i heard uh heard the 3d printer running it's not in this room at the moment because i have the fucking mess right here but um and i heard it running i was like what you got it's, it's fun Shit, okay. <laughs> oh. Well, since I'm not really good, I mean, tomorrow, uh, actually, it's gonna be tonight. I want to purchase things that I need for the weekend since Vic isn't here. Maybe tomorrow I can focus on putting this away. And pulse one more time, one more time. There we go. Just need to do. Keep going. Nobody knows you're here. The reason why nobody knows we're here is because you've murdered him a super fucking fast once we find him. Damn it. I am not having the greatest luck of trying to figure out what the fuck these combos are.
Delicious coffee flavored water. So these two are definitely somewhere in here. Whatever the third one is, it's gonna be this. First one um It's the stinger, right? Where does a stinger go? But I think that one is. Yeah, that's for the gym. Okay, let's. let's oh, wow. Okay, yeah, no. Ugh, okay. We'll put that on there and we're gonna have to go and deal with that. Did it have impact on here? I mean, that doesn't really mean anything, but. Okay, so let's see what we can roll for that ribbon. Shit. Plus 210.8% crit damage. Let's see if we get anything better. Oh, not. Not with a minus 154.5% damage. Fuck that shit. Oh. No. You know what? That's good. Actually, let's go up to 2000 and then we'll stop. Healing is bad. Oh man. No. No. Alright, this is the last one. Jesus. Oh my god. Oh, that's a hard one. That is a hard one. I actually don't know if you should always go with more crit damage or crit chance.
Here only works. Generally speaking, crit damage is more desirable on rhythms. There are a lot of very powerful crit chance mods and buffs, but crit damage is much more scarce stats. Okay. Okay. So, you know, we'll go with the crit damage. I can never remember. I always want to think it is. Yeah, no. Alright, we're gonna leave that there. Yes, or does yes, they did. Okay, let's. No, no, no. Where you're not going to, because I have a crap set of formas I still need to build. So. Okay, so. Let's take that one off. So I got 14, so let's upgrade this Stinger mod. And yep, yeah, we're gonna have viral involved with this, so <sighs> because it's got cold damage and toxin. Hmm. I really want to put cryo rounds on here. What is the serration? Low level serration. And then. Shit, what was that? What is organized? Could do this one. Scope. Okay, scope. I got a scope. And then we can work work on that one. Although we should probably do a quick chance on um, yeah. Okay. Okay. That'll give us some stuff to work with. Oh, since they did the rework, I haven't even touched this one. That's a tough one. Hold on. No, we don't have to worry about that one. The fatal attraction isn't bad, but I don't know, maybe we could do that. We could take off the armor. I'm gonna put something else in there. 
we have oh okay this actually could work since we have that thing in there um multiply status effects from companion weapons kill your enemies to your more unique says maybe oof They could totally play into that, but I'm not quite sure. I'm trying to think of what I want to do with this one. No, the fatal attraction is nice. So the way that, in my opinion, if you ever have the gin. Like, this thing that you should really take into consideration is that it revives itself, right? Like, pretty nicely. I mean, now that they have that, I mean, that's like an innate thing, right? But, like this one, it incapacitates itself to revive its downed owner. I mean, we could take that one off. Whereas this one, which is, um, explodes when incapacitated, dealing glass damage, which that one's nice. Yeah, we could take this one off. Let's sacrifice because it's not going to really do much of anything. I mean, that would be good for like what I'm playing solo, I guess. Oh man, let's see if. if mm, it's going to really throw me through a fit here. Although I can't really complain about I might keep that one actually. Alright. We'll play with that. See how that works. I don't know if I'm going to be happy with it, but... Narcissus is almost done, Protea is almost done, the Ferox is still going. Wow, 
Fuck, I see that thing, yep. Ooh, we might actually finish this one this, this round, okay. Oh, I missed it. I missed the squiggle mark. Savvy, savvy. Busy with other shit, Space Mom. Thanks for the heads up, though. Nice. Get that one done. Shock prosecutor. Space mom, go a little bit faster, please. Just getting real. Oh boy. Nope, nope, I'm stuck. No longer stuck. I wanna die. Fuck this shit, man. Mission complete. You are surrounded by green greens. It's 
Space Home, I would be concerned if you said that there was corpus here. Just a bullshit. We're bringing this. Come on. Just want to see if there are scalable plays here. It's one. Okay. Here's that habit. Yep. <laughs> Holy shit. Rotea is maxed. Parasesis, I think, it needs that one last forma, and then that'll be done. <sighs> that was rough. Real rough. Yahoo! You tore me limb from limb, but I pulled myself together since then. Ah. Well, it's definitely that one. It's just these two we gotta figure out, so. Alright, Parasitsis! One more to dump into you! Could totally do that one. Get in there. Probably going to dump one of the those in here, I'm not quite sure. Alright, let's put this here. It's gonna get a seven. Options. I can't because I'm not going to use this weapon that much. Just put that there. Yeah, I'm. I'm not feeling the paresthesis thing. I mean, I'm also not really using it. Oh, if I start the fucking. Uh, if we're gonna do it, we're gonna fucking do it, right? So. Oops. Condition overload. No, 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 no. Well, that's gonna be the last one that we dump into it. So, put the ends on that. I'm feeling good with Protea of how I got her set. So now I'm only at no, so I need seven twenty five or something like that. I want to say not feeling this. I'm going to work on this one a little bit. 
Okay. Oh, no, no, we can't because. Yeah. That's what I was reading. Well, no, that's actually not what I was reading. So yes, yes and no. So yes, you want to do your crit chance more, but you actually have a lot more mods that give you crit chance compared to crit damage. That was the thing that they had pointed out. So I was like, that makes more sense because you can get a higher crit chance with mods than the crit damage that I had because plus 210 crit damage. I, I can't say no to that, but yeah, no, I mean, yeah, that's what I was thinking. But at the same time, the person had definitely made that valid point because here we'll do. Wow. I think that's crit chance. Wow. It's critical chance. We've got one, two, three, four, no, three. We've got three for that one, right? One. So it makes sense. It makes sense. I know, I know. That's why you need to put those things on here. So now that we're talking about it, so we could probably take. Jesus Christ, I don't even know what to take off. And then we can take this off. We can take this off. We don't need the status things. Don't really need that. And we can go up to 7.5. This is also, this is like a companion. I mean, he's not gonna, you know, like making amazing procs anytime soon, so. Wait, so I can crit the, what? How does that work? Oh, that was weird. I don't know. Now I'm starting to think I made a bad, a bad error here. But in the end, it's it's just a companion, so I don't know, they might sound kind of cold, but well, thank God I've got more stuff that I can roll. But I didn't like the fact that it had a negative for crit damage. That kind of, that one kind of hurt a little bit. The negative was damn near almost 100% negative, so. Either way, I didn't take it, obviously. i do this one. That's actually better than the other thing that happened, yeah. See, this is why gambling is bad, boys and girls. I don't even know what to do in that one. <clears throat> and you get you have over a hundreds in this. All right, so this one is a. It's about the same for the crit chance. I mean, one of the current one is one hundred and fifty seven. This one is one fifty three point eight. So not that much of a difference. This one's got an 82% toxin and then a 164 damage, while the other one has 57.1 fire rate 
and then an 80.5% status chance. I'm probably going to go more with this one. Most because it just gives that extra papau. The stingers, the stingers weapon is not strong, like at all. So and then the fire rate, I'm not really worried about the fire rate because in the end it, it's a gin. Like I would rather have my fire rates more on like my Doriga or something else. The, the gin is literally there to revive your ass basically and sacrifice itself. So we'll take this one. We'll take this one. All right, last one that will work. <laughs> let's stop, let's stop wasting Kuzma on that. So the crit chance is at 11.3% now, which is more than it had. <clears throat> we also have an innate toxin with it because... The Stinger, standard issue weapon for it, it fires toxin projectiles. So you already have an innate toxin ability in there. Adding a little bit more papal for that one I think would be a good idea. What? I'm gonna be confused because I'm confused too. Like, I have to play fucking mind games with myself on this. Because, welcome to Warframe math. <laughs> it's... Yeah, no, it's... Here. You take it off, and right now it's 7.5%, so... Yeah, no. Welcome to Warframe math. It's, it's a beast on its own. It really is. I got it. Got four. You know what? No, no, because I need formas and building formas. Don't spend it. Don't spend the plat on the formas. Not until you're done with the ones that you currently have. that on there. Correct. Correct. Yeah, it's a little, it's, it's a little weird. It's a little weird to figure out, not gonna lie. Most of the time I forget that's even a thing. So, yeah. That's why I'm not super worried when it comes to your companions, because your companions, excuse me, are your support, basically. So, especially with the djinn. The djinn is the one that I used to take with me into arbitrations. This is the one that it, it when it dies, it revives itself. I mean, obviously they revive themselves now, because they fixed it. And this is where I was trying to come up with, like, should I keep the sacrifice? Because that changed. So, I'm still iffy about it. I mean, so in order to have this happen with the djinn, the self-destruct, so it means it would have to be incapacitated. So that means that I should probably drop its health and its shield so that it does this more often. 
and then it'll incapacitate itself to revive its downed owner to 100% health and shields in four seconds, and then the sentinel recovery timer is increased by 15 seconds. Oh my god. Yeah. No, there's, 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 there's formulas, mathematical formulas for that shit, so... Yeah, I'm not I'm not quite sure how I want to use the gin now. <laughs> I'm gonna have to Oh, do we have any like builds that they've come out with for the gin after the update? So this one on overframe. This is with the latest or well, whatever they did the major update. So it's immortal, making it the only sentinel capable of endurance run. So durability doesn't matter much. Therefore, they didn't use regen. Which I don't have in here either. And they built their gen for utility. Enhanced vitality and accelerated accelerated deflection are so when Jin dies less often, it can be replaced with what you want since dying won't matter much. For example, you I enjoy using spare parts to farm rare drops. That's a good one, yeah. But many Ray and Guardian can be nice to have. However, when Jin is dead, it can't use sacrifice. Uh, can't use sacrifice, Medi Ray, Guardian, etc. The order matters since Jin will use them from left to right, top to bottom. Yes. So place the mods in the order have shown above. Note, since I have uh, the waybound passes, I don't need to use sacrifice, I instead use spare parts with some additional loot, but guardian or shield charger are very good too. Huh. Can I copy... No, let's not do that. Let me go back. Alright, so... That reminds me, I need to get, I need to have a team meeting with Hellraiser, Vic, and Bogey and see when we want to start with that one game. Anyway. Right, so let's do, we're going to do this backwards. So reawaken, instinct. Shit. All right. Eight seconds. Um, just in case I don't remember this. All right. So we're gonna have to do some some finagling here. Action swap polarity. This goes down here. Cause that's gonna get fucked up, yeah. Um so we'll put some for here and then enhanced vitality. Vacuum. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, okay. Fatal attraction. Uh, 
Actions, swap it again. One second, I have you kind of minimized a little bit. I see that you said something, but that's a pause. Accelerate deflection. Okay. Synth fiber. Synth deconstruct. And then sacrifice again. So, I'm increasing your lifespan by 100%. <laughs> yeah! Um. Oh, that's so fucked up over there. Okay. Um, we're gonna have to replace this one with some actions. I feel so dirty doing that. Only because I don't want to replace that one in case if I decide not to. Go with this. Alright, let's see how this feels. Seconds. Let's go back to config A. Bring this up. I mean, I didn't really have this in order anyway in the beginning, so I'm not super gonna worry about this. If I'm being honest. Back to config A, we're gonna swap it here. Go with that. Let's see how this how this works. Because it sounds interesting. I don't know if I'm gonna be sold on it. Let's see what happens. And then, today's Thursday, I need to start working on that guide I was going to do for Gilbert's 2. The written one, and then I gotta figure out what I'm going to do with either Welcome Back to Boyfriend Missions, or How to Mets at Gilbert's 2. Not quite sure which one we're going to kick off with.
Bolt seems to be on top of things, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. Holy fuck! Holy shit! There's just a bunch of assholes right there. You gonna take off? Alright, so we shall see you later. Thank you. <laughs> Get the hell out of Dodge! Holy shit, Aroonies! That was crazy. That was fucking crazy. That gen actually felt pretty good. I mean, it died and then it came back pretty quickly too, so...
Did I really not use that synth deconstruct? I don't know. Although the energy orb is a little Yeah, I don't know. We might we might end up going back to this this I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We still got some time to figure it out. Just gonna start that off just as is. Shit. It was a bit weird. No, 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 no. Game, I captured. Give it time to see if my list shows up again, so I'm kinda hoping he does. Do What's not stop. Do it now.
Like, seriously, they do not stop. <laughs> Thank you, Hill. Oh, phone isn't showing up. <laughs> You're fuming. I want my new core, goddammit. Nobody doing these missions. That's kind of sad. One more time, come on. Damn it. Oh, oh, got somebody. Oh, shit, they actually left it behind her? Just not... okay. Okay, maybe it is dead. It's not showing up for me. Watch 
Oh shit. Come on, let me pick out the right fucking combo for once. Fuck! Are you serious? Fucker is gonna be up to level four now. I just get better and better. Oh, shut up, man. God. I think it's gonna be a level four. Some bullshit. <laughs> no, I think that's where I'm going to end it. I'm going to take care of this off stream. So, all right, boys and girls, and everything that's in between. That is it for me this evening. Tomorrow is I don't know what. So we're probably going to end up doing Guild Wars 2, the new content. Um, just I will be playing through it as well. So, um, because Fallout 76, it's a fun game. Not exactly fun to stream. It's like streaming Pal World and other stuff like that. Like it's it's more of like a personal slow based thing. I don't know how else to word that. So yeah. Um I'm still not quite sure what we're gonna do on Fridays, but just I know that I don't know. I honestly don't know. I might start playing two different games during the week. Like we're doing the first playthrough for Baldur's Gate three. Maybe we can start doing something else. I don't know. I honestly don't know. I'll have to figure it out. Right now, I mean, that's kind of what I'm doing is just, you know, giving it a couple of times, seeing what we get. So, either way, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Until then, take care, stay safe. Bye bye. That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over. <laughs>